The catawampus cat arrived early on a Tuesday morning, slightly askew. At first, no one noticed. The town was a busy town and the people were busy people. Tick, tick, tick went the town. Talk, talk, talk went the people. This is how it was every day, even Tuesday. The first to see him was Mr. Grouse the grocer, who tried to straighten him, to no avail. What's with that cat? asked his wife, Lydia, who hadn't said a kind word to him in almost 20 years. You're asking me, he said. He must be hurt or curious or noticing something. So they both tilted their heads and noticed something. That's where my wedding ring has been, cried Lydia. I haven't seen it in 20 years. You know, said Mr. Grouse sweetly, from this angle, you look exactly like you did the first day we met. They kissed and on walked the catawampus cat, still askew, where he was spotted by the board town barber, Bob Long, who was giving a woman a long bob. As he stared at the catawampus cat, he tilted his head and Snip, clipped at an angle. I love it, shouted the woman. And on walked the catawampus cat, askew as ever. And passed a house painter who was busy painting the mayor's house. What a dull, uncreative job, sighed the painter as he watched the cat walk by. It wasn't until he looked up at his work that he realized he'd been tilting his head. Brilliant, exclaimed Mayor Meyer, a work of art. When Captain Whizbang, the town daredevil, saw the catawampus cat, he missed his jump over Dead Man's Gorge, but landed instead in a geyser and set a new record for height. When the town librarian, Miss Reed, saw the catawampus cat, she pulled the wrong book off the shelf and then quit her job and set out for adventure. Even Bushy Brow's Billiam, who was always sitting in the back of the classroom and never noticed anything like what time it was or when class was over, noticed the catawampus cat and discovered that he could see better than anyone if he just looked at the right angle and Bushy Brow's Billiam set off a chain reaction. Soon people began to talk and then to tilt, first their heads and then themselves, just like the cat. They rebuilt all the houses so they were leaning and made all the cars off kilter. They spotted prized possessions they thought they'd never see again and rediscovered old friends they thought they'd never know again. Everyone was happy and slanty and catawampus. Talk, tick, tickety went the people. Tick, talkity, talk went the town. Mayor Meyer decided to name the first Tuesday of the new year Catawampus Cat Day in honor of the remarkable cat. They all gathered in the lopsided town square and threw confetti at an angle from their uneven stage. Oompa, oompa, blared the off-key band as the catawampus cat walked onto the stage and stared out at the town, now completely catawampus. Well, what do you think of it? Asked Mayor Meyer excitedly. We're all different now, just like you. Everyone held their breath as they awaited the cat's reaction. Slowly, thoughtfully, the catawampus cat blinked twice and stretched and straightened himself out and walked back out of town once again, uniquely catawampus. <laughs>